Hello YouTube, Spaz is coming right at you. As you know, I stream every Tuesday, 4 p.m. Central European time. But this Monday, I did a little bit of a uh, burping already. I did a little bit of a bonus stream. And if you don't want to miss those, make sure you go to twitch.tv slash spaz with a follow link in the description. Hit me up with a follow. You get a little notification so you don't miss them, okay? And on this bonus stream, I played my placement matches. Finally! You guys have all probably finished them a long time ago. But I've just been enjoying myself so much in, in normals, playing with the CG farts. So I never really got to it. But I was just feeling like, yeah, it's, it's time. And I went for it. Now, I would just like to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about my experience from those 10 games and one thing that I talk about a lot but in particularly during my placement matches were uh, very true. So let's dive into it. Get yourself a drink. I've got a cup of coffee. Let's do it. First things first, let's bring you into the loop of what's going on with me and solo queue these days if you didn't catch the stream. So what I've decided to do is to do a little bit of a mixture between uh, mid and jungle for this season. Partly because I'm not bored with mid yet, uh, I do still enjoy that a lot. But I'm also very intrigued with a new jungle still. So what you'll see me play a lot is probably Vi and Sejuani in the jungle when she's not banned. Which is a lot of the times these days, isn't she? The little pig lady. And for mid, you'll see me play Sarath a lot. Still a very strong solo queue pick in my opinion. And Velkos because not one of my placement matches were played with Velkos but I'm still looking forward to whipping him out in solo queue uh, because of his unexpectedness and his uh, great potential in my opinion. In terms of filler roles, uh, support wise my new favorite is Nautilus. I played one game with him on stream. Uh, it was a great game. We lost it but I felt like I really liked what Nautilus brought. I do. I'm very familiar with his skill set because I play him in the jungle every now and again but the tankiness and the damage and the potential all-ins brings to the bottom lane. It's just something I like, so you probably see me whip that out every now and again. And top lane? Man, I don't know. I hope I don't get to play top. Cannon? Uh. So I had a lot of fun uh, streaming some solo queue this Monday and well, partly was because I won a lot of games, so that's always fun, uh, but I came to realize something that I knew was true, but I think I found a little bit of an extra angle on it, so I want to talk about it again. And that is not giving up games, even though you might be losing your lane horribly. Now, I always say that you should never surrender, but I would like to maybe say it differently this time. Maybe you say it, um, try to enjoy the game even though you're losing. For me, getting better at this game, I kind of need to enjoy it. And I do enjoy uh, making mistakes that I can then learn from, right? And that is what I sort of grabbed onto a lot uh, during my placement matches. And I found great success with it. You know, both on stream and the couple of placement matches I played uh, not streaming, I had games where I was like 1 and 10 with 10 CS after a couple of minutes that I managed to turn around and freaking win. And then I had games where I was 10 one with 100 CS, which I also win because I boast like that. No, I also obviously lost some of them, but let's talk about how I did it. First thing, let me repeat my point, which I talk about a lot, which is super important. Uh, solo queue is a long-term thing. You need to have a broader perspective and not look towards getting that shiny border as quickly as possible. You need to see it as something that will uh, slowly progress you towards becoming a better player. And if that is your goal, and if you focus on that, you will get that border in the process, right? And with that in mind, maybe you will be able to look at a lost lane with a sense of, that's okay it's not the end of the world what can i focus on instead and don't get me wrong there's no like magic here that you just have missed out on you still need either your allies to be uh, very good at what they're doing carrying a significant part of the weight that you put on them because you've fed your lane or you'll need uh, an enemy team that makes a huge mistake like sejuani blowing her ult on a banshee target and then you can turn around the fight because it's late game and it doesn't matter that you've died like a million times but in order to capitalize on that mistake you need to not have gotten too frustrated to see it uh, and in order to jump on your ally back when he or she wants to carry you uh, the same goes so what do i do to not get frustrated and enjoyment 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 is always what i talk about uh, i never play ranked if i'm not enjoying it that is why it's taken me this long to get to my freaking placement games because well it's not like i've been feeling sick of ranked but i've been so much enjoying the normal queue and that's what i've played right but now i'm feeling i'm making a return and for instance a lot of the game when i was behind what i actually were thinking a lot is Man, this is so exciting. I am at this point where I shouldn't be able to do anything. Let's see if I can do something. All right, right now I need to go and grab this farm. I cannot go and contest that even though I want to. That was a good decision by me. Hmm, what's gonna happen next? You know, and this mindset got me really excited and I really enjoyed playing it. And it didn't even matter if I won or lost. It mattered more if I could get through the game with this huge handicap of a lost lane or jungle or whatever. So I want to keep this video kind of short and I don't want to ramble on 
on for too long. But please, friends, take it from me. Because I, during my placement, mastered the art of not surrendering if that's what you want to call it. I won a surprising amount of games. I ended up being Platinum 2, which is way more than I ever expected, and I'm super psyched to climb back to Diamond and see how far we can go this season. So thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning into the stream if you were there. And if not, you know what to do so you don't miss the next one. Uh. And I'll see you next time. Stay positive, friends. This has been Spazzy, and I am out. Toots!